I'm Alex Hamill, and I'm a high school teacher at De Pere. I actually was very interested in high school in architecture and design and after kind of going through and not being exactly sure what I wanted to do, um, I thought that I wanted to be an architect and after I started thinking about it a little bit I realized that actually um, the absolute part that I loved which was the design and I loved working with kids. Um, and I just decided that it seemed like a pretty natural fit that I could actually teach the stuff that I love to do and I wanted to teach them. I try to make the projects have some connection to something that they know. So we're always trying to do um, something from a, you know, a video game design or a movie or something that relates or maybe even a product that the students use so that it's something that relates to them. Um, that's the first way to kind of start them getting interested and I also let them pick the project typically. Um, I give them some kind of problem but they're the ones that ultimately are actually deciding what they get to do. So it's kind of natural for them because th since they're picking it they're automatically excited because it's not something I'm telling them to do it's something that they get to choose. One of the projects that we do that I really love is we do a reverse engineering project. Um, in that project, they start with basically um, taking apart a, a product and they recreate and create three-dimensional models in Autodesk Inventor. Um, now they actually have a functioning product and then the kind of design process part kicks in. Um, and then what we do is we start analyzing that and asking them questions like, what is it that you don't like about this product? Or was there something that you discovered um, that you thought could work better? And that kind of begins the design process. And when they're done, they've got these, you've got the original, you know, perfect replica of this product, and then you've got this, you know, improved version, and it's a really cool thing to see them watch them do it. You know, what I see is that these students, they end up working together. Some of the projects, you know, are group projects, but even projects that are not group projects, um, students end up helping each other out. So what happens basically is, you know, I show them a, you know, a basic set of skills on, say, Autodesk Inventor, and I show them one cool design feature in Inventor, and maybe I'll show the, the whole class, just, you know, take five minutes, just show them what the tool does, and so they can kind of see it. Hey, this is what this tool does. Um, I'm not going to go into great depth about what you can do with it, but I want you to see what you can do with it. And those kids will sit down, they start digging into it. Um, I show them the resources, you know, the help menus, I have books on available as well, and they start going into it, figuring out how they can make it apply to their project, and they start helping each other. All of a sudden, they start showing each other. Kids work together, and before you know it, they are using tools um, that you really haven't even taught in class. The number one thing um, for these educators that are coming into it is get students involved with projects that they like and the job is so much easier. I mean, it's, it's barely, I don't have to encourage kids or I don't have to, you know, spend a lot of time teaching is trying to inspire kids and get them excited about learning. I've had over 20 students um, just in the last, say, three years um, that are either in or have graduated from um, an engineering program. So it's been really exciting to actually see, um, you know, that what we're doing here is getting these kids out there and they're doing this stuff now um, that they really had a lot of fun with in class.